Hello everybody, this is the second video in the video series focusing on Salesforce Flow use cases. These are very short videos, about five minutes, showing you what can be done using Salesforce Flows. And this is a universal containers loan application use case where I'm going to show you how to use the screen flows to uh, allow the users to enter information over a long and sophisticated application form. Now the cool thing about this one is the user doesn't really have to follow a sequence as they are going through the screens. I used an unofficial SF component to show a path uh, right on top of the screen and they can jump between the screens and go from screen one to screen three and backwards if they need to. And I also used the functionality that's available on an unofficial SF package that allows me to change the functionality that's available to the footer buttons that's provided on screen flows. As usual, there may be more than one way to implement things when trying to implement this use case. And also please remember that this video was recorded some time ago and some of the functionality that's available on unofficial SF components may have been implemented uh, within Salesforce Flow functionality. Let's go and dive into the details for the use case and how it was implemented, shall we? This is Andy Otkan. Screen flows provide an excellent solution whenever we want to um, collect information from the user and record that information in either one single object record or related object records in Salesforce. Let's say we are Universal Containers Financing and we have an application form on the internet that collects information from the applicants so that we can evaluate their credit worthiness and provide solutions to them. Uh, so this is a screen flow exposed to external users and applicants on a community. And as soon as this community page is pulled up, the flow runs and then we are greeted with a welcome message. When the user, the applicant, uh, clicks next, uh, they are uh, greeted with this form where they have to provide information about themselves, first name, last name, phone number, email, date of birth, home address, and then we have a pick list for state and zip code. The applicant can hit next and now we'll have to provide information about their occupation, job title, annual income, and there is a radio button that uh, specifies which type of loan they want to apply for, in this case home equity. Now the cool thing about this application form is uh, this component over here, the unofficial SF component that allows the applicant to go back and forth in sequentially between screens. So if the applicant forgot to enter some of the information correctly, they can go back to the first screen, add the house number, correct it and they are also presented with the information that they have previously entered and then go back and make changes here again go to terms and use the toggle to agree with the privacy policy and terms and as soon as the applicant hits next the application is submitted and they are informed that they will be contacted by email so how does this look like in Salesforce? So we have a flow here that looks somewhat more complicated compared to a standard screen flow because we use that unofficial SF component to move between the screens in sequentially. So the flow starts off with uh, create application and then gets the application 
so that we can use the record variable to capture the information that the applicant enters on screen. And we have the static welcome screen and then this is the decision that uh, actually sends the applicant from one screen to another. Uh, in this case, we have to evaluate after all uh, and every screen uh, which screen they want to go to next. This is the first screen that collects the personal information. Uh, the second screen uh, that collects the occupation information and we have to assign uh, the values from screen elements to our um, record variable fields. And this is the term screen. After the term screen, we are checking whether the privacy policy was accepted by the applicant and we are assigning the current date and time to the submitted date and time for the application and this is our finished screen that concludes the application here and once that's done the information in this case is recorded on an on a single object record called application and we can see that all the field values are presented inside Salesforce on this page layout. Enjoy!